What's up everybody? This is Swaggin' On with Swagger Gaming, bringing you another Drop Series video. If you haven't already seen it, please check out the intro video for this series to get more information about me and the series in general. The link is located in the description along with links to the spreadsheets and infographics used in this video. In this video, we will be looking at the trailer park, which is located at the northwest of the Miramar map. The trailer park is a low-risk drop area and has very average loot. We saw an average of 0.2 people drop over the 30 games. The most enemies I saw drop with me in a single game was 4, and I saw 0 opponents in 25 out of the 30 games. We finished on average rank 26 out of 91, with 1 kill and 178.5 BP over 18 minutes and 8 seconds. Out of the 30 drops, we were able to get out of the trailer park alive 29 times, and finished in the top 20 13 times, with 10 top 10s and 1 chicken dinner. Because the trailer park area is so easy to loot out, I have included the warehouse and three buildings to the north in this data. I was able to loot out all of this in every single game with no issues. A car spawn is almost a necessity, because more likely than not you will need to travel a fairly large distance to make it to the circle. Luckily, the car spawn on the road as shown here is very reliable, spawning about 90% of the time. There is also another car spawn on the dirt path next to the trailer park, this only showed up in 3 out of the 30 games. We found the S1897 first 5 times, which was the most out of any weapon. Overall, we saw 4 pistols, 8 shotguns, 5 SMGs, 8 ARs, 0 snipers, and 4 Winchesters first. There is one game where we were killed before we could pick up a weapon. Our loadout stats show we left the area or died with a shotgun 10% of the time, an SMG 40% of the time, an AR 107% of the time, and a sniper 37% of the time. Because we made it out alive in 29 out of the 30 games, those numbers are fairly accurate for looting out the entire complex. We were also able to pick up a 2x, 4x, or 8x scope 73% of the games. SMGs are found here more often than in previous locations, bringing the AR numbers down significantly. The good thing is there are a surprising number of snipers in the area, although we never found a car 98. We saw 1.8 bag level, 1.5 hat level, and 1.5 vest level on average, which is very respectable. For meds, we saw an average of 1.3 first aids, 0.9 painkillers, and 1.5 energy drinks, all of which are on the high side. We found a med kit in 7 out of the 30 games. For looting, I have broken the trailer park into 3 pieces. The first is a small town to the north, the second piece is the high loot areas, and the third piece is the low loot areas. The area to the north has a typical warehouse which is easy to loot and has fairly good spawns. The three buildings and the picnic bench are all small and very hit or miss. The high loot areas have the best chance to spawn a nice weapon due to the density of the loot spawns. I like to drop at the very northwest of the complex first and work my way east along the fence to ensure a weapon quickly. The low loot areas have the same quality of loot spawn, but are spread out more or are harder to loot than the high loot areas. These are still worth checking, but if you have opponents with you, I would stick to the higher density spawns. The trailer park is a nice place to drop if you are playing for rank or want to have a more relaxed game. You are able to easily loot out the entire area and can come away with a surprisingly good loadout without really having to worry about early game aggression. Just be prepared to have a long journey as the circle spawns across the map regularly. What do you all think? Have you tried dropping at the trailer park? Do you want to see more different stats in these videos moving forward? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks and have a great one.